Let me show you how to remove the screen from the lid. The first step is to get the lid assembly removed from your computer. There were 10 screws on the back of the computer that you have to remove to remove the back cover. Be sure to check out my other video which shows how to do that and then that'll give you access to three screws here, three screws here for the hinge and then the two connectors. The number one tip is to use packaging tape and tape all the glass here. That'll minimize the amount of shattering and little glass fragments that you have. I would do that for sure. There are a couple ways to remove the screen itself. What you're trying to do is get between the rubber. So there's the cover. Then there's rubber. And then there's the glass screen. You're trying to pry between the rubber and the glass screen and lift up. Probably the best way to do it is to apply a little bit of heat with a heat gun. Around the edges and uniformly heat this up or concentrate on one side just to get it lifted. Uh, just be aware that there are two ribbon connectors, one here and one here, which is sitting underneath this plastic bezel. So you need to remove this plastic bezel. It's just interference fit with a couple of clips. And then you'll need to remove this ribbon cable here, this ribbon cable here, and there is also a connector right here that needs to be unplugged. So you have that connector and then these two ribbons are the only connections that you have to the LCD screen. The LCD screen, after you pry it up, will come off like this. Again, if you're going to use a spudger, you're going to pry between the rubber and the glass. Between the rubber and the glass, not between the rubber and the lid. It's between the rubber and the glass. Here's another close-up view of what you're trying to do. You can see the broken glass there and you can see the rubber. So there's the rubber and then there's the glass. You're trying to get the glass off. Underneath the glass is adhesive so you can see some of it there. Looks like adhesive double-sided tape. It's very very thin and very very tacky. So you're going to want to clean that up also. I've got this all cleaned up here. My recommendation is not use a heat gun. You can see that I've uh, overheated the rubber right there briefly. So I'm just taking my time and using various spudger tools, a pair of safety glasses to keep the glass shards that might be flying around out of my eye and I've got my, my vacuum cleaner close by to be able to pick up any shards that end up on the ground. But that's what you're trying to do is get that cleaned up and then the new glass will go in very nicely. You'll need to get some double-sided tape, very special tape. I haven't figured out where to get that yet. That's going to be very important in holding the glass in place. But I thought you would want to see some of this detail work here. Get a really good look at what you're trying to accomplish and that is you're trying to release double-sided adhesive, double-sided tape that's sitting right here and it's just inside of the rubber.